guys and welcome back to my channel. So this video is going to be another Valentine's Day look. I decided to just make it a simple kind of sparkly shimmery highlighty look. So this video is in collaboration with some girls from um, Facebook beauty guru groups. So here's a preview of some of their looks and outfits you guys can click. I have some annotations up for you if you want to click and watch their videos. Um, and then also I'll link down below a playlist of all the videos so you can see um, the other videos that the girls did. So if you'd like to see how to achieve this Valentine's Day look, then please keep watching. So I'm using my Urban Decay Vice 3 palette and I'm taking the shade Alien with a Sigma Tapered Blending E35 brush and I'm going to put that into my crease. And I completely forgot to apply an eye primer, which I never forget. So I definitely recommend applying one before you use any eyeshadow. It helps it stay a lot longer and also gives you a good base. So now I'm going to take the shade Downfall and a Sephora blending brush and I'm going to put that into my crease just a little bit more precisely. Now I'm taking this City Color White Gold Mousse Eyeshadow and I'm going to apply that all over my lid. And then I tried going in and applying it with my finger because it didn't really blend well. I got this in my Ipsy bag and the color is really pretty but clearly it doesn't blend that nicely. And then I also got this from my Ipsy bag. It's the Elizabeth Mott Pop Goes the Shadow in the shade Champagne. So I'm just going to apply that all over my lid because um, the mousse shadow I applied is a little too gold for me. I was hoping to have more of like a sparkly champagne shade. I feel like this shade complements the pink that's in the crease a little bit more. And then I'm going back with my Sigma blending brush and I'm just going to blend out the crease a little bit more. I'm also reapplying a little bit of the shade Alien from the palette. And then going back with the Sephora blending brush, I'm applying a little bit more of Downfall in the crease. And then off camera, I applied my face makeup and also my eyebrows. And then I'm going back in again with the Sephora blending brush and I'm applying uh, more of the shade Downfall into the crease. And then I'm cleaning off my brush a little bit and I'm taking the shade Truth for a highlight under my brow. And 
And then taking the shade Bobbi Dazzle from the palette, I'm going to apply that into my inner corners for a highlight. And then with a flat definer brush, I'm going to apply the shade Downfall into my lower lash line. And then with a Sigma E30 pencil brush, I'm going to take the shade Alien and then I'm going to blend out the lower lash line. Now I'm taking this Anastasia Beverly Hills Pro Pencil in the shade Base 2 and I'm going to apply that into my waterline for more of a brighter look. And now taking the Smashbox Full Exposure Mascara, I'm going to uh, coat my top and bottom lashes. And if you want to make this look more dramatic, you can apply some false lashes for a sexier look. And then here is your final look for the eyes. I wanted to make just a simple bright eye, a little bit of pink in it. And then moving on to the lips, I'm gonna take a NYX lip liner pencil in 831 Mauve, and I'm gonna line um, my lip. And then I'm going to take my NARS Anna lipstick and apply that all over my lips. And lastly, I'm taking my NYX Butter Gloss in the shade Apple Strudel and I'm going to apply that on top for more of a glossier look. So here is the final result for this look. I know it's not as crazy as my other looks, but I wanted to do something a little simpler and easier to achieve. So I hope you guys enjoy it, and I will talk to you soon.